Hi, I'm Peter from Silver Archery. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, a Dan Tolkien, Tolkien traditional bow. This is their um, Tolkien Troll 52 inch AMO. It's a two piece takedown with the bow bolt system. So, and when it gets supplied, it gets supplied in this fetching vinyl bag. It comes with two strings, all set up with silencers and um, with a knocking point and a Thunderhorn super stringer. So, we'll put it together. So this is the beautiful bow bolt system. Push it in, turn it called the turn, line it up, almost seamless. So before this is a, 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 a Montana bows, Montana artery, Tolkien traditional artery. And, um, this beautiful Macarta. You've got here uh, mango veneers and red. Cocobolo overlays. Uh, the craftsmanship is absolutely stunning. Uh, the fit and precision. Have a look at the tips there. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, we'll just put the string on. This is the troll. Uh, I believe it's a, an eight strand um, far flight string. Pre assembled with uh, string silencers and with knocking point at uh, 52 inch AMO, it's incredibly smooth to pull. 28 inches is about uh, there, and as you can see, the finger pinch is not particularly bad. It's um, a very, very smooth bow, doesn't stack. Shoots really, really well. We're going to put uh, a few arrows through the chrono and um, see how it performs, but it really is a, a, f a fantastic bow. Their turnaround is great, their service is great. Apparently this was, this was ordered and um, four weeks later it turned up the customer's door. So uh, you, for a custom bow, yeah, that is fantastic. A great turnaround. Um, keep going on about how beautiful it is and if we do some close-ups of it, the, the fit and finish is, without a doubt, it's well classed. You know, it's as good as anything else you see out there. Okay. So we'll just check, if this, it says 40 at 28, let's just check it. Same 40.5, in my eyes, so yeah 40 is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to uh, shoot the crony and um, first arrow through is going to be a Carbon Express Heritage uh, 150. Seventy-two. Still a little bit short. So these are four hundred and twenty-eight grain hour. Seventy-four. Must have been close to full draw. Yeah, apparently it was close to full draw. So one seventy-four, five-inch feathers. That this is a forty-pound bow. Um, it's pretty fast. <laughs> These are the uh, Bearpaw Eco Shaft with a four inch shield. I'm 75 and I think it was a little bit short. These are between 434 and 444 grains total weight. 73, again I think it's slightly short, but close, close, 73, so 73, 74, again wooden arrow, 434 to 444 grains, 173 feet per second, 40 pound bow, amazingly effective, you can just see the beauty of the overlays there. The red cocobolo, uh, lovely mango veneers, red cocobolo, the carter, um, stunning bow. Right, let's try some other arrows. Right, we're going to try the uh, Bearport self knock bamboo arrows, which we've shot before. And they should come out okay. 
in 72. Again, these are between 410 and 440 grains, because they're not terribly accurate. This is the V4600. One eighty three. One eighty one. So one eighty one, one eighty three, we'll call that it. Mm -hmm. First time uh, buyers of a, a, a Bell 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 any of their bows at um Tolkien will get a thunderstorm bow stringer. Right, I'm just taking it apart. Quarter of a turn. See the bow bolt system there. Wonderful bit of engineering. Take it apart again. Quarter of a turn. Okay, got it. There you go. Yep, yeah, that's it. Take that apart again. Very, very simple to do. Almost seamless joint. You actually see the lovely uh, thumb, thumb locator there. It's very ergonomic. And quite a few people with different sized hands have tried this and they've all found it to be, to be a comfortable uh, grip. And you can see the laminations in the locator there. Really nice shot. I wish I could do that more often. Ooh, close. Yeah. I, I think this is the best I've shot in right hand. 
go down to the Pokey Bow, Pokey Troll. We've got fairly heavy pine shafts, the four inch fleshings. fleshings. We've got lightweight carbons and um, medium weight bamboos. It puts them all out with authority. It is such a forgiving bow, even for a, a left handed archer shooting a right handed bow. It's, um, it really is. This is the Toki Troll. I shall attempt to come to full, full draw and show you just what a beautiful bow it is at full draw. I do believe I almost did it then. No hand shot. So quiet. Dead in the hand. It's exactly what you want, a hunting bow. And I held full draw there, it's quite nice. About 26 and a half, 27 inches, but this is such a lovely bow. Two piece takedown from uh, Montana bows, Montana archery. Top of traditional bow. Um, yeah, go on to their blog spot. You said, I think it's man Mango Veneers, Mercado Riser. I think it's uh, Red Coca Bolo and um, uh, Mercata Heel. Absolutely stunning bow. It's just, it's, it, it is one of the prettiest bows I've ever seen up close. The fit and finish on the join, the, the bow bolt system, is without a doubt. Yeah. So, I haven't seen that many bows, but it is, it is nice. It is nice. Yeah, you'd be well, well, well impressed with it if you go with them.